A Jefferson County woman is recovering tonight after eating contaminated deli meat more than a month ago. She is now suing to get answers. Tracy Henson talked to the woman and her lawyer about what happened. She's in this newsroom with us. Kelly, now can you remember everything you ate this week? How about everything your partner ate? Well, that's what Sue Lauber Fleming's husband had to do when the Jefferson County Health Department called in July. Pat and I had um, fallen asleep in our recliner chairs taking a 4th of a July nap, and I woke up and didn't feel good. Didn't feel good is an understatement. The strangest um, and most dramatic symptom was she started shaking like crazy. Her whole body was shaking. Tracy, I thought my bones literally were going to fly out of my body. That's how violent the chills were. About 8 o'clock on the 4th of July, she was in an ambulance headed to the hospital. And she was uh, in the ER within 40 minutes probably. But answers for what was happening would not come that quickly. About five days into this, the Jefferson County um, Health Department called. 45 minutes into the call, they had a list of suspects. We finally kind of narrowed it down to about four or five foods because they were foods that Sue had eaten, um, uh, but I did not. Boars had Braunschweiger to be specific. I thought it was better, better tasting, better quality, and I thought it was safer. Typically, deli meat is safe, but what Sue ate was contaminated with listeria. As foodborne illness cases go, um, it is not that common. Ryan would Part know. He spent his entire legal career representing people injured by foodborne illnesses like listeria, and now he is representing Sue. It's really important to get to the bottom of how this happened to make sure it doesn't happen again. Was there something Sue and the other 42 people hospitalized with listeria across 13 states could have done differently? That's the hard thing about listeria in a ready to eat product. There's just not there's not a lot that that you can do. You're really counting on on these companies and industry to 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 make this safe. Now, Sue was lucky the bacteria did not spread to her brain or her heart, which can cause irreversible damage. Her doctor said coming in for care right away saved her life.